Welcome to Dallas Texas where the temperatures exceeded 100 degrees today and tonight the American Airlines Center where for the first time in their 26 year history the Mavericks will play in the NBA Finals facing a Heat team also making their initial appearance in a championship round where dreams come true. Thanks Mike. Dwayne you got hit hard by that blue bug last week. Even yesterday you were still carrying around a box of tissues at practice. How are you feeling now? Uh, I'm feeling a lot better man. This is the finals. You know you put everything aside. You go out here give it your all and you worry about how you feel after the game. Now a couple of the Mavericks have said that they want you to actually shoot in this series. They believe that is your weakness considering that you shot 62 percent from the field in the last series. What do you think about that. Well I am better going to the hole but I, I have proven I can shoot the ball. I'm not worried about what the, uh, my, my opponent said about me. That's what they supposed to say. They supposed to try to get me in that mindset state to come out and shoot jumpers. But I'm going to continue to play my game what my team need. All right Dwayne good luck. Thanks, Lisa. Mike back to you. At guard from Marquette number three Dwayne Wade. During the course of the game by Dallas they'll give you a lot of looks they'll play a big unit which they have out there right now and then they'll also play small ball to put the pressure on the Miami Heat at the defensive end. Haslam knocks it down and say listen this is a team that won 60 games in spite of the fact that they had a ton of players miss over 20 games with injury after one or two options in their play so you cannot fall asleep in your half court defense. Oh Wade beautiful drive Dwayne Wade has blossomed before our eyes in this postseason. A very good player who's on the verge of becoming one of the truly special players the league has seen in a long time. And again, his perimeter shooting so huge for this club. Wade with the drive. I don't know if there's anyone in the league right now who goes as fearlessly to the basket. But Dad got over it pretty quickly. I think he, when he did, checks the uh, checkbook at the end of the month, Mike. I think he'll go in favor of basketball. <laughs> Wade again to the basket and the high banker. Wade who had the flu in game six to clincher against Detroit looks like he's pretty pretty healthy right now Mike. with the shaking up. Yes he is he took one to the uh, face get a coaching change and then during the course of the season you change your lineup. So it took them to the playoffs to get into a set group of an eight man rotation. Wade now guarded by Howard a very good defender uh, doesn't matter there he's five for six from the field at least right now. now Pat Riley just loves the tempo of this game. Wade again Wayne Wade just beautiful to start six of seven from the field and they are shooting 76 percent as a team. Nowitzki lost it but he got fouled. Now that's twice that Griffin has been into the basket and you must send those down. They, they've got to be gimmies on the break. Wade gets it inside. The Cozy. Dwayne Wade we have watched him blossom into one of the NBA stars. Young man just outside of Chicago, Oaklawn, Illinois, it was where he went to high school. Didn't just play basketball, played a lot of sports. Was a track star as well. And then, of course, went to Marquette. And he is putting on a show already. You'll be here tonight. Well, he's off to a great start. He's six for eight from the field. And mostly everything is from the foul line down. He's getting where he wants to go, breaking the Dallas defense down. They are slow in their rotations and helping out. Now, we know that he's a beautiful finisher either with the right hand or the left hand and Wade comes out of the pack here comes Jason Williams to the basket turnovers they force long jump shots long rebounds out on the fast break easy basket three defenders converge on O'Neal Wade has been shooting well and continues to do so but he respects Riley says he's number one in terms of the coaches he's played for Jason Williams puts it. Howard knocked out of his hands tried to force it three on one Walker back to Wade. That's it. That's how you must retaliate. You've got to get out in the open floor and get some easy baskets. Just any time they're giving them that on that roll to the basket. Wade to the basket. Oh. Wade Wade with a strong finish. Harris perfect pass and Stackhouse foul from behind as Wade. Matt Riley says he sees it in Wade's eyes when he steps on the court. He's a very humble player. But inside he knows he wants to be the best player on the court every single night. And Riley and him have talked about him being the first of the celebrated class of 2003 to win an NBA championship. Now Darko Milicic won one with Detroit but he didn't really have a role. He wants Wade to be that first one to lead a team to a title. Quarter has been Wade and Novitski's quarter throughout the playoffs. Both stars have come up big. Walker 
Can't get the roll. Knocked around Wade right there to pick it up. Now, once again, right there, Alonzo Mourning banging people around. Kept that alive. Wade now with 27 to lead all scores. Series, the Mavericks have lost game one to San Antonio and Phoenix. Wade inside, pretty pass to Antoine Walker. Marilyn Culp, she is the wife of the Heat's head athletic trainer, Ron Culp, who is not here in the building tonight. Marilyn Culp passed away on Saturday night after a long battle with cancer. The entire team went to a visitation service on Tuesday before they came here to Dallas. Ron Culp is expected to join the team for Sunday's game two. Uh, but until then, we want to extend our deepest sympathies and best wishes to Ron and his family. Terry drives to the basket, gets inside, blocked by Wade. Dampier right there on the follow. To their disadvantage. Tonight, Morning is staying on the floor. There's Wade with the steal. He's been averaging over two a game in the playoffs, and he has really added his defensive game to all the scoring he's done. Howard knocked away. Here comes Wade, one man to beat. Wade gets inside. Beautiful move from Dwayne Wade. Always cross over. Always cross over or reverse your dribble. You saw what happened to Nowitzki as a defensive player. He turned him around twice. Now, you can see what they're doing. On a score or a foul shot, Miami is playing a 2-3 zone. Terry. He's just a pure winner. I mean, just he's, he's absolutely fearless. Wants the ball in any clutch situation. Uh, thinks he's the best player on the floor, you know, and, and not in an arrogant way, but in a confident way. And I love having him. And he is a very, very, very smart player, too. Very smart. He understands the game and it's competitive. He has all the intangibles that, you know, that you know, great players have. He has a tremendous desire to really be the best. He really does. He doesn't talk much about it, but I know it. I can see it. And again, their defense has been superb. Now they get it to O'Neal. And O'Neal, they've got some very good individual defenders, but a strong defensive concept from the team as Wade knocks down just his third field goal. They've been a great home team. Right now, they're getting beaten badly. Wade drives hard to the basket. So over the summer, they really made him into a defensive force. And then when you put he and Dampier together, it's quite a combo. Walker hits another three. He can get some points. Williams inside. Wade kicks it back out. Posey will try a three. Knocks it down. Breathing room again for Dallas. Wade gets it back again and flips it in. He looked to push. Wade. Oh, look at this. Underneath. Quick bucket just like that. Back to 12 again with two and a half to play. Final score from game two in Dallas. It's the Mavericks 99 and the Heat 85. Welcome to beautiful Miami, Florida, where tonight this city will host its first ever NBA Finals game. But their beloved Heat is in a desperate situation, in need of a win, trailing the Dallas Mavericks two games to nothing as the 2006 NBA Finals continue on ABC. Thanks, Mike. Dwayne, you were 6 for 19 in game two, not the game you wanted to have. What's been going on with you? Uh, just I'm a rhythm player, you know. I'm trying to get back in my rhythm. Um, so, you know, I can't control, you know, the shots that I miss, but I'm going to try to focus more tonight on my shots and, uh, you know, make them when they count. Now, there's a lot of pressure on Shaquille O'Neal to have a big game tonight. What have you personally said to the big fella to, to tell him that you're going to try to get him going tonight? Well, I think he, um, he understands that, you know, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure he gets the touches that he needs. But at the same time, uh, we don't want him to put no pressure on himself. You know, it's pressure on his team. Um, if anything, to have a big game. But you know what? You know, we got an opportunity. Um, he, he has gotten us to this point, um, and we got to make sure we use him um, as much as possible. All right, thanks, Wayne. Good luck tonight. Thank you. With more on the Mavs, let's send it over to Stuart Scott. Bad guard, number three, Wayne Wayne. of course, every time he goes to the hole, Allie Whip, that time for O'Neal, he's been double teamed. Nice pass inside, and Wade finds a way to put it in. But that's there for them. Dallas knows that any time they put Terry in a pick and roll, that he will be open. Wade knocks it down. Wade and O'Neal with all nine of the Miami points to start. But this is your first look. They've got a nice balance of young players and veterans. Wade inside. So you're seeing more patience tonight within Miami. Any time that the ball was kicked out in game two, it would be immediately shot at the basket or a quick drive and a shot attempt. Tonight, they're taking their time, they're resetting, and they're looking to either run the offense or take advantage of mismatches in the front court area. So far. Look out. 
Wade inside. Oh, nice ball fake. The difference tonight, Miami exploding, getting the three on two and the four on three in the transition game. Oh, tough shot from Wade as he hits the floor again. 15 here in the first half for Wade. We still have seven and a half minutes. Terry comes right back. No set offense. Easy basket opportunities. Explosive to the basket. Looking to finish at the rim. This is the one guy that the Mavericks defense has no answer for. Easy on the fast break and then in an attack mode. When this Dwayne Wade shows up, there's nothing that the, the Mavericks can do defensively. Wade, the MVP of the first half of game three. He had an open shot. Gets it though, and that's a better shot. That was just sheer strength. And for the Heat, this is a desperation game. Can't afford to go down 3-0. There's no team has ever come back from that deficit in the NBA. Haslam puts it in. High shooting. They're already down inside of 40 now. And the big thing is, is they out on the open floor. Wade, beautiful move, and the foul. Wade taking it strong to the basket and a chance for a three-point play. Beauty, meanwhile, Wade, when he caught that pass, really grimaced. Now goes to the basket and dunks it. He's in a lot of pain, you can tell. He grimaced just when he... Oh, boy, flying for Nowitzki for three. Won't go. Walker. And here comes Wade. Plenty of time. And Wade with the finish. Tonight, this is our season. We've waited for nine months to get here. We tried to get here for nine months. We're here. Let's go. We've got 12 more minutes. We need three or four stops. Let's do it right now. Mike? Well, a perfect way for them to begin the fourth. Wade, who doesn't take many threes, knocks it down. That's a bit. Six shots in a row. Wade trying to find an opening. Banks it in. Well, they're in a heap of trouble. Wade has been terrific, but he's been bothered by a knee. Gets inside, and a foul! Every time we start talking about the knee, he drives to the basketball. Well, every, when he makes that move on the baseline side... Harris, a good defender. Wade pulls up, puts it in! Five-point game! Good timeout, timeout, Dallas. Good timeout. This is the closest they've been in the fourth quarter. And the fans back into it. Williams looking for Wade. Yeah, they're bringing him off the baseline screen. Wade on the drive, inside, banks oh, it in. Oh, what a move. Three-point game. Oh, what a move. Great hang time. The hang time was terrific because of the threat. Of Still plenty of time. Not like Miami needs a three right now. No, a big thing right now is you can see the high percentage shot. Wade, it's good. One-point game. Avery Johnson did not want a timeout. Dirk looked over there. Chance to tie. This is the free throw. Wade on a foul with 1.4 remaining. Wade makes it a two-point game. Now, right now, Haslam must put big-time pressure on Dirk Nowitzki. You do not want to get a guy going to a corner or to the basket. It's the lob. Knocked away, and the Heat survive. And by, by, Wade, Wade. <laughs> there you go. A stirring fourth quarter comeback. And the Miami Heat right back in the NBA Finals. The celebration starting here at the American Airlines Arena. Wade, who made every big play down the stretch, bothered by that knee, certainly not on that liftoff. Now, that was a beautifully designed play. Wade to Haslam. Yeah, plenty of time here. O'Neal looking. Wade inside. And a foul. Now that was Shaq not rushing the action. He accepted the double team and was looking for the cutter. All right, Devin Harris turns his head, and next thing you know, Wade is see the alley. That alley opened right up. Wade on the pull up. You know, he said you'd be earlier in the series he was penetrating too much instead of pulling up for that type of shot. And that shot's there because he's so quick going. Harris has the quickness to stay with Wade. With Wade, able to pull up and knock it down. Well, see, when he has that range, mid-range out to the 24-foot line, 
you know that that defender is laying back because he does not want to get beat off the dribble. From what we're told, well, he handles success well, and you love the, his peers. They all say he's the hardest working player on the team. Stackhouse poked away by Walker. Now that was a beautiful backdoor move by Jerry. Unfortunately, it was not a good pass. I think he's early. feeling it early. In game three, Dampier had a great night. Nine boards, five at the offensive end. Wade, again, oh, from three. That's his 13th three-pointer of the playoffs. He had 13 all in the regular season. Game, a little bit of a slow start for Dallas in the first quarter. Harris blocked by Morning, throws it right back at him. There's the fast break. Wade to Posey. Because you know Dallas is going to be testing the transition defense of Miami. Wade attacks the basket. So good with both hands when he gets to the rim. Wade for three. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Come on now. That's his second three. 19 points, and we still have five and a half to play in the second quarter. I think his knee is... Nine-point game with a minute and a half left in the second. Wade, beautiful bank shot. He's got 24. It's the beauty part of his game. He plays the board as well as anyone in this league. Griffin. Adrian Griffin inside. Pass the job. Block the foul. 14 and 1 to heat our all time when Wade scores 30 points or more. 7 and 1 this postseason. 24 first half points. He's well on his way. But I like how dominant he is. Taking what the defense gives to him, daring him to take the jump shot, and he's exposing them. At some point, you have to contest this guy's shots and make him work. I like what Pat Riley has done to assist Dwayne Wade. Use his bench with the Shandon Anderson. Throws it away. Haslam. Good anticipation by Haslam. Wade kicks it out. Walker, wide open three. Antoine Walker. Wade gets inside. Boy, he's got that shot down pat. Now, Mike, I'm telling you. And then off the dribble, that long reach, he gets the deflect deflections. Wade pulls up. Boy, he is just so confident in his stroke tonight. Very active. Wade. Banks it in. That was a nice move by Haslam. Haslam has not scored from the field, but he has been doing a decent job on Dirk Nowitzki. Wade. Oh my. Banks it oh in my. as the buzzer sounds. Set play, a beautiful set play. A double screen for Wade coming to his left, and Harris was very late. Harris gets inside. Oh, strong way to answer. The ball would go in the basket, spin around and out. Wade finding Walker. Walker for three. Back to 20. Welcome once again to Miami, Florida. Tonight, it's game five of the NBA Finals, where the mood has changed. The Heat have turned it around, thanks to a special young star and a force of a few old veterans. Can the Mavericks pick themselves up on a night where they'll be shorthanded? It's become a best of three series with these two first time NBA finalists battling for the championship. Game five, next. Those were the shots that were not falling for Dallas in game four. They shot just 32%. Wade with two on the shot clock has to fire away. He banks it in. He decided to go early and split the trap. Harris, quick shot won't go. Ahead of the pack is Wade. Perhaps he does this a lot. If you're guarding Dwayne Wade, now I know it was Harris. Harris went to the basket and missed the layup. Dwayne Wade just took the world. Well, when he was a teenager, he made a big splash when he came over and played against, against the United States High School All-Stars. Scored 30-plus. Now the way for Daniels, his first points of this series. Yeah. Wade, great pass from Peyton. Excellent recognition. Make the pass and move to the front of the rim. Testing his shots. Three defenders here as he tries to post up. No longer are you going to dance with a solo act. Now you have to beat three defenders. Conversion, contesting, and then Jason Terry with the strip. And James Posey chaperoning Terry all the way to the hoop. But they are frustrating Dwayne Wade and doing just what they had to do. So well, they won't hesitate. Yeah, the three centers tonight have eight rebounds, zero, zero points. Haslam, high scoring, two guard for a small forward. 
And uh, he really uh, gave of himself at night in and night out. And hits a three, Posey! In game four, they held the Mavericks to seven points, lowest ever in a finals quarter. Wade puts it in! Peyton left open, nails a three! Yeah, now right now, Miami's small. Antoine Walker is their biggest man. Wade on the drive. Banks it in, and a foul! Dwayne Wade does it again. That's his pet move. Now all night, in games one, two, three, and four, he's been banking them in. Now up until this stretch, he has not had the touch. Now how about this? The all important game five as these two teams look for their first NBA championship. Wade puts it in. Miami leads. Thirty-five for Dwayne Wade. Wade pulls up. Bang! Oh. Dwayne Wade again. Oh my! And he's making it so easy, smooth, not in a hurry, reading the defense. A minute remaining. In the hands of Dwayne Wade. They have Howard on him. Wade looking. Pulls up, banks it in, tie game with 2.8 remaining. Timeout Dallas. The remarkable Dwayne Wade with 39. Remarkable is right. How about the angle? Look at the angle of this shot, and he still plays the board. The ability to get the bump and hang in the air. Griffin right with him. Avery Johnson said the NBA Finals is like Carnegie Hall. The great players play great here. Wade has done that. Another banker. Wade can go into the backcourt. Wade on the drive. Double team. Wade looking for an opening. He's fouled. Shot won't go. But he will shoot two. With 1.9 remaining. Tie game. Oh, they have to go the length of the floor. main thing right now, the pressure is on Dwayne Wade to make the foul shot. Terry again walks past him. We've seen that gamesmanship a number of times in the postseason. Wade with 42. Heat lead. All right, we got to put a man on the guy out of bounds. And they're not doing that. They're going to allow them to pick out the pass. That's... You, you got to watch now because if they make a catch over half court, they'll get a decent shot. Just get it in. Harris puts it up for the win. Oh, no good. And Miami wins again to take a 3-2 lead. Welcome to Dallas, Texas, where the NBA Finals resumes tonight at the American Airlines Center. Game five was a classic in overtime as the Heat took a 3-2 series lead and the frustrated Mavericks glad to leave Miami. Now the Heat, one win away from their first NBA title. As the Mavericks face elimination, game six next. You can see they need a miraculous game in the fourth quarter. This is two of his 15 and then leads his team with 42 for the game. Now in game five, this is what sends the game into overtime. A strong drive. That is two of the 17 in the fourth quarter. Four in overtime and no point bigger than this foul shot. 101 to 100. Dwayne, this is the first closeout game in the finals for you in your career. What's going on in that stomach right now? Uh, you know, just want to come out and give it your all. You know, you want to play your best game, of course, tonight. Um, because to us, this is our game seven right here. So he's going to try to come out and give it all. Now, games one and two here in Dallas were much different than games three, four, and five in Miami. What must you do tonight to get a re better result here in this building where you guys have struggled? 
Uh, we'll just continue to play team ball, play with a lot of energy, play with the same tenacity that we had in Miami. You know, no matter what the score is, that we up or down, just continue to keep believing in each other, and we'll be fine. All right, good luck to you. Thank you. Mike? Miami. Now, two things must happen here. This guy must get some shots. There you go. Doesn't make a big deal. They both get hot, and then they have the ability to get out like 7-9 to nine to 0. Terry is the leading scorer for the Mavericks in these finals. His way hits it, and a foul. Avery Johnson upset with Wade with a chance for a three-point play. Wade with the jumper. He has that jumper going early. It makes it so difficult to defend him. Mike, right now he has scored nine of the last 11 points. So this is what we Mike. It just comes down. You must shoot a better percentage. Wade has Terry on him now. Dwayne Wade knocks it down. Wade already with 13 points. Ten straight points by the Mavericks. The Heat have gone about four and a half minutes without a point. Did we have another run? <laughs> oh, that run just ended right there. It was right back up, blocked right. by Dampier. Oh, look out here. Two on one. Terry pushes it ahead to Stackhouse. Terry steps back for three. Novitsky blocked by Wade. Wade right at Daniels. Tough shot. Count it. And a foul. Oh, my. Yeah, that's, first of all, Daniels played them too soft all the way down. Now, if you keep backing up, he'll keep moving forward. And then you just do not do a ticky-tack foul. If you're going to foul him, foul him hard. Get his hand so that he doesn't get up on the shot. From the field. Now, Dwayne Wade, very quiet for the first 10 minutes. Only two shot attempts, no field goal. Has exploded for 19 points since this period of time. Six for 10 from the field. Just putting together an excellent half. Wade, so effortless, and lead back up to two. It's difficult if the screen, we lose ball, has that one. Howard on the drive, blocked by Wade. Terrific timing. Walk home, played against Detroit, and started a 10-game winning streak. As Wade deflects it, steals it, and prior to that game against Detroit, four and a half remaining in the third. Wade, tough shot, banks it in. He's had those big four quarters. It has been a different story on the road, though. Wade, banks it in, starts right away. Seven on the shot clock. Wade spinning, falling away. It's good. Wade Wade with 29. Peyton plays much of the fourth quarter for Miami. Wade gets inside, finding O'Neal, and Shaquille O'Neal banks it in, times in the playoffs. Haslam, oh, Haslam knocks it down. Six for nine from the field for Haslam. It has been a tough night. They've got good looks, but the ball is not going in the best. Wade kicks it out, Posey for three, knocks it down, James Posey. Drain Wade anytime off the dribble. Wade and Nowitzki got in his way. Nowitzki upset, but he was just in the wrong place, wrong time. That's right. As he picks up his fifth foul. Wade putting up big numbers for the fourth straight game. Hits a pair. Back to three. Wade, meanwhile, with nine points in the fourth quarter. Once again, in double figures in the final period. And Pat Riley's team up by four with 17.7 remaining. And Dallas still with one timeout left. The clutch free throws once again from Wade. And the Mavericks will call their final timeout. The Heat, a five-point lead. And 17.7 seconds away from their first championship. If you're Miami, do you foul? Don't well, let them shoot a three. That's right. This is smart now. Are, are you going to get foul? Terry puts it up. Won't go. Rebound Wade. The Miami Heat, they've done it. They win their first championship in franchise history. Congratulations, 2006 MVP, Dwayne Wade. Congratulations 
What's going through your mind? Uh, <laughs> I mean, first of all, I just want to thank God for giving us the strength, the courage, the tenacity to fight through all the doubters all year and come out on top. So I just want to give God all the praise for this. Are you surprised at all how Dallas tried to defend you in this series? No, not at all, man. I, I just seen all the defenses. My coaches do a great job of getting me prepared. My teammates do a great job of spacing the court and making shots so I can do what I do. And um, this is the team award, just like this is the team championship. People can tell you what that championship ring is like. Coach Riley can tell you, Shaq can tell you. Now you have that feeling. What is that feeling like? Man. It's one of the best feelings next to my wife and my son. It's one of the best feelings I ever had in my life. So I'm going to live it up because we deserve it. Congratulations. So ends one of the most exciting playoff years in NBA history, filled with overtimes and buzzer beaters and two teams making their first trip to the championship round. We saw the emergence of the remarkable Dwayne Wade and his legendary companion winning their first title. So like anything was possible Hit cruise control And rub my eyes The last three days And the rain was unstoppable It was always cold No sunshine So for Hall of Famer Yubi Brown, Lisa Salters, Stuart Scott, producer Ed Fibershoff, director Drew Esikoff, and our fantastic ABC crew, this is Mike Green saying good night from Dallas. Congratulations to the Miami Heat, the 2006 NBA champions.